And a thanks in Shelburne Falls, a controversial indigenous statue has been removed after months of conversations and petitioning. Western Mass News reporter Wesley Days spoke with those involved to learn more about the long fight to remove the tourist attraction. Tamantha Sylvester was just a newcomer to Western Massachusetts when she saw this statue in front of the Native View shop in Shelburne Falls. I wasn't surprised because I'd seen it before, but I was sort of taken aback because I know what these images and what these representations mean to not only myself, but to my family and my tribe back at home. Sylvester telling Western Mass News that sculpture is seen as a caricature and a dangerous stereotype in the indigenous community. Those emotions Tamantha felt led her to reach out to the shop. But after months of no response, she created an online petition to have the statue removed. That webpage received more than 1,300 signatures and got the attention of the shop. I started asking questions to especially my friends and my kids. And my kids all saying, look, this is the uh, times already changed. This statue is a racist sort of a um, stereotype. For almost five decades, a statue stood right in this very location. But now, after hard work and many meetings, it's no more. And many community members say they're glad. I was fighting back tears, quite honestly. This moment, a long time coming for Rhonda Anderson, a member of the local indigenous community. Anderson tells us she's been fighting for over a decade for that statue to come down and understands while the intention for the statue was not to be negative, it was hurtful. 47 years I've lived here. It's been an aggression to drive by this and see that this is the representation that people believe we are. Although that sculpture has been dismantled here, it's been sold and has a new home some 1,400 miles across the country in Oklahoma. A bittersweet end to the story for some. It's not gone. It is still a stereotype. And a part of me feels like it just moved on to another, the problem just moved on to another state. Reporting for Western Mass News, I'm Wesley Days.